<laughs> you got 50 seeds, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you play geraniums on your porch and shit. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome to this extremely high octane playthrough of uh, Twilight: A Link to the Princess. Uh, oh look my at these god! Fucking right? textures—they're so high res. They actually really look beautiful. Look at all those different leaves on the wall. I mean, there's like one, and then there's two. So there's a lot of leaves. And then multiple ones beyond those. <laughs> Several couple leaves. <laughs> Hi. Whoa, an Ordonian. Hey, guy. <laughs> to us, you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the- Whoa! <laughs> Woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. Take this bird, for example. <laughs> he thought he was safe. There are a ton of caves and dank spots around here that get pretty dank, if you know what I'm saying. He just grabs one of his curly cues and eats it. <laughs> oh, here, go on, guy, on take head. this. 420. <laughs> Place that shit. Oh, you got the lantern. Oh, Place there that we go. shit. Use it, use it once to light it. You won't be able to use it without Did a he just have that in his closed fist? Sure. Yeah. See, I sell lantern oil here. I, get you, I give you the lantern to get you hooked. And then you're my bitch. <laughs> yeah. You, you need my oils. Back for oils. For the rest of your life. I'm trying to draw up sales by giving away free lantern. Wow, just come right out and say it, dude. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you got oil to fuel your, your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Wow. You're like, I'm not your guy, buddy. It's like, I'm not your buddy friend. He's like, I'm not your friend guy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not your guy, buddy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> ah. Oil sales haven't been going well, as you can see by my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, guy. Try setting a fire under that big pot. Hell yeah, I'm gonna set a fire under this pot. You know what I'm saying? How many weed references do you want to make, dude? <sighs> Alright, man. Scoop. Um, A. R. Scoop. There you go. What the fuck did you just do? You're oh. gonna burn this whole place down! Oh god, everything's on fire! Yeah, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled, it's baby. It slowly starts melting because it's so close to the fire now. And if you need oil, you come see daddy. <laughs> you come to daddy's oil shack. <laughs> I like that shit. That man. really would be hilarious. Like, if it... If the if the stores are ye old apothecary, medicine, and daddy's lamp shack or whatever the fuck you just called it, <laughs> you just come on down to daddy's lamp shack. <laughs> Shit, baby, looks a little dark in here. Maybe daddy's lamp shack could illuminate your crevices. <laughs> Shoop. Oh yeah, there you go. Watch this. Shoop. Well, there it is! Star, she freaking blows, Shoop baby. the whoop! Whoops. Well, ignore that. Shoop! Nice. Wow, yeah. just that easy. It's epic! Light the rat on fire! <laughs> fire rat! Fire rat! Ah, shit! Okay, shit, well, or... Right. me. Whoa, did that actually work? Oh, no. He... Give me the pot! Oh my god, give me something to break! <laughs> How about your fucking face? It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Oh god! You better quit! This game's confusing me because it's like it's the same kind of like control scheme as Sekiro. Oh, but which, slightly which different. I'm playing at home. Mm. How you doing with it? Kicking its ass, dude. Really? You're doing well? I think I'm at the end, yeah. Proud of you. I can show you. Show you how much I've improved. I'll come over to your house and jack off. Uh, watch you play Sekiro. Sweet man. Yeah, it sounds good. I would love it if you came over to my house and jacked at uh, watch me play Sekiro. <laughs> <laughs> we just get less and less like subtle about it. <laughs> I'm gonna masturbate at your house and then maybe watch you play video games. <laughs> Hard to say. I'm exclusively coming over to your house to come on your furniture. And then possibly miscellaneous <laughs> other things. We'll see. We'll see what kind of nut it turns out to be. Oh god, that <laughs> oh thing's god. running at you. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Cool. Ow. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of nut? Yo, yeah. you ever had one of those nuts that's like... 
Dude, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know exactly. There, 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 there are some where you, you crank it out and you're like, I could go on with my day. And there are others <laughs> that you're like, I have to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Get the heart, dude. You're hurting. What? Yeah. Oh, man. First squirt? <laughs> the only you can answer that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have to go to the hospital. Yeah, I gotta call a doctor. <laughs> Baby, call a doctor. My nut! <laughs> Did you see that nut? <laughs> Damn! That was some hospital going nut right there. I I had stopped uh, using the term nut, uh, meaning to orgasm, until Allie came into our lives, <laughs> and she brought it back with uh, with a fervor. She's the nut boy. God, she's fucking funny. Where did you not? Yeah, I did. Did we ever talk about that? I think maybe in the power hour? Y yeah. Uh, well, we'll say it again anyway. Um, the, the Game Grub's office is now populated, uh, a lot. Um, there's many people who work here. But back in the olden days, it was a little bit more like the Wild Wild West. There were only about five or six people working here, and... You know, some- a lot of times the office was totally empty for, you know, an entire evening. And so sometimes you'd sneak in with a uh, with with a lady, um, and uh, and make sweet love in the grump space. Uh, and we, what? Yeah, we were telling that story, and fucking Allie comes out of nowhere. Like I didn't even know she was in the building. Barrels yeah, would be a, a, yeah. a good word. She explodes from around the corner. It's just like, where did you not? <laughs> like, oh my god, Allie, I'm sorry. I, it was years ago. <laughs> and, she, and she does her her fucking like horse stance that she does to like yeah. gain the most uh, intimidation th points. Yeah, yes. Yeah, the shoulders are all hunched and forward. Where did you not? <laughs> it's so funny. It's funny because I wasn't there for that. Oh, you weren't? No. But you can just imagine. But it when you perfectly. tell the story, I'm like, I know exactly. Yeah. I can visualize this 100%. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just because Allie is such a specific personality. It's it's a very typical exchange <laughs> that occurs <laughs> in our office. She does this thing whenever I enter a room, where she goes, Aaron Hansen, and <laughs> yep, and it's just a it's just a subtle little thing, but I'm always like, wow. Well, that is something that Ali would say. Like it's, it's just like really nice to have someone like acknowledge your presence like that. It's like a, it's it's almost like a like a, a funny modern version of like when when you walk into like an old Victorian party and they're like, presenting, yeah. Aaron Hansen, the honorable, and yes, and date, <laughs> yeah, whatever it would be, and woman on arm, and other. And provider of this evening's syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> they got syphilis a lot back in those days. Oh yeah, I remember. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, right? 2016? <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, 1850. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there you go. Oh. What? You gotta take your time. What? I was taking my time. <laughs> I wish there was a jump button. That would make this so much easier. Whoop! There you yellow. go. Ah, oh, that shit sucks. I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, cool. What the hell am I supposed to be doing in here? Is that like looking for a monkey or something? I'm sure it's on the other end of those two things you just refused to jump on. No. You sure? Uh-huh! Because of course they'd make it a little hard to get to it, and it's unique and interesting and- But it seems optional! Okay. I don't know. If you say so. I don't know, man. I was just here. I know. It's almost as if the only place you haven't been is the place you just refused to go. I don't like video games, Dan. I know that, Aaron. Why do you force me to play them? <laughs> I don't know. God, I fucking hate this You asked shit. me to join this show. It's not- I don't even- it's not that I don't like Zelda, I just don't like fun. That is true. There is something to that. <laughs> I'm just sick of it, you know? It's you, like, I was a kid and I got enough fun, and it's like, now just, I fucking just... Yeah, just let me J.O. and... Be miserable. Cry. Let me be fucking angry at everything. Just cry bait and move cry, on with my life. cry -sturbate. sad -sturbate. Oh, is that what it's called? I mean, that makes more sense, right? Take your time, take your time. No, you didn't take your time. I did take my time, Dan! Jeez! <laughs> it's fucking hard! You wanna do it? Yes. Yeah? No. Exactly. Go, go up the damn hill, you stupid fucking Ordonian. 
Sorry to, sorry to make it about race or whatever. Is there actually like a button to jump with? No, you just run off the edge. Weird. So you have to line it up perfectly. I swear to god, there's gonna be nothing the, at the uh, end of this. She doesn't even hang on to the ledge? <laughs> Fuck! Shit. I am not supposed to be doing this. This feels wrong. Really? Yeah. It wouldn't be this difficult. Maybe it's a place you can get to later. There you go. Oh. I jumped too far. Yeah. I can't control the the jump. Oh well. Let's give up then, let's give up then. <laughs> black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> Would you like me to gah, look up a map of some kind? A through? Hmm. A Charles Schwab through? Yeah, why don't you do that? Yeah. Why don't you look up a schwalk through? Maybe I will. Cause this one just says go through the forest temple. Got enough lantern oil? If but not, it's stop at trills, baby. But it's locked. I can't get through here. Hmm. Am I too far? I feel like I've gone a bridge too far. <laughs> a bridge over the river Kwai. That was my granddad's favorite movie. Robert Lean? Uh, what? Is that the director? Is that right? Robert Lean? Alec Guinness is in it. Sir? Yeah. So Alec Guinness? You get a little Obi-Wan Kenobi action. I've never seen him in any other film aside from Star Wars. He's younger in that. He's like, oh. River Kwai. Is this bridge over a certain river? Of the River Kwai. The, um, let's see here. Wasn't he like vocally, didn't he vocally hate Star Wars? Yes, he was not a fan. This is him in Bridge of the River Kwai. Wow, look at him, he's handsome. He's super young, right? I'd fuck him. Um... Would you? Don't put me in that position, Aaron. What do you mean, don't put you in that position? Because if I say no, I'm going to be accused of being homophobic. What do you mean, and if homophobic? I say, You're not gay! And if I say yes, it's gonna be really hot. <laughs> oh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, yeah, he did hate. In, in fact, I think the famous thing is he told a little kid who was like obsessed with Star Wars to give it up. <laughs> Didn't he? <laughs> to give it up. He's like, it's stupid. <laughs> you don't remember that? No. Um, That's awesome. Okay, hold on. One fucking second. asshole. Stop uh, watching that trash. It sucks. I don't know why I was in it. Oh, that's right. Money. Hmm. He was seduced by the dark side. Meanwhile, fucking Ewan McGregor is like, what a brilliant performance. I'm gonna try as hard as I can to be a perfect Alec Guinness impression in my Obi-Wan. Guinness, yeah. Guinness described the film, talking about the first Star Wars movie, yeah. as fairy tale rubbish. <laughs> wow. Um, fairy tale rubbish. Oh, dude, that bird's got something wrong. Upon his first viewing of the film, Garrett, Guinness wrote in his diary, It's a pretty staggering film as spectacle and technically brilliant, exciting, very noisy and warm hearted. The battle scene at the end goes on for five minutes too long. I feel, and some of the dialogue is excruciating, and much of it is lost in noise, but it remains a vivid experience. Okay. Um... And? Oh, okay. Uh, Guinness re in, in one of his books, Guinness recounts grudgingly giving an autograph to a young fan who claimed to have watched Star Wars over a hundred times, on the condition that the boy promised to stop watching the film because, quote, this is going to be an ill effect on your life. The fan was stunned at first, but later thanked him. Though some stories say it went differently. Guinness is quoted as saying, Well, I said, do you think you could promise to never to see Star Wars again? He burst into tears. His mother drew herself up to an immense height. What a dreadful thing to say to a child, she barked and dragged the poor kid away. Maybe she was right, but I just hope the lad, now in his thirties, is not living in a fantasy world of secondhand childish banalities. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! He- Sir Alec Guinness is absolutely the get-off-my-lawn guy. Guinness grew so tired of modern audiences apparently knowing him only for his role of Obi-Wan Kenobi that he would throw away the mail he received from Star Wars fans without reading it. Oof! Dude. Damn! I mean... Come on, man. Tell him how you really fucking feel. <laughs> well, I think he did. Yeah, I guess <laughs> he, he did. He did it, like, straight away. Holy crap. Wow. 
That's garbage. You're garbage for liking it. <laughs> you stupid ass. Let go of these childish banalities. <laughs> they can't break that fucking hope that's wood that's already broken? Break that fucking wood tonight. Please set me free. Set me free, let me be! Set me free, I can't escape from this cage with the broken bar right next to me and pretty, pretty sure I could just turn left to the side and sidle out of all the bars. Can we just get a slow zoom on that fucking monkey's face? Oh. My god. It's like one of those freeze frames from Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Why is it the only one that freezes and the kid is... That's, that's fucking wild, oh. right? <laughs> that is super bizarre. Jesus. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Burn it? Yeah. Burn the cage that they're in. I mean, what do you want me to do? Kid, why are you so scared? You're just in there with an insane-faced monkey <laughs> going batshit. <laughs> yeah. Wait, <laughs> could you turn around? Yeah, look, keep walking forward a little bit. Like, look. Okay, keep walking a little further. Uh, like, to no, 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 uh, just so you can get the cage out of the way. And you oh. can just be looking at the- Yeah, like, you- To the left. And you're like, <laughs> looking at your map, and you're like, Where can I find Anus Rock? <laughs> <laughs> the cheeks of blockage. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fu oh. Oh, there you go. Yay! Right. Well, that seems counterintuitive because they fucking cowered when I hit the, the the damn thing. Yeah, and now the monkey is free to live a life of insane wanton destruction. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it just rips your face off. <laughs> if you hadn't come, Spence, gee, me and that monkey probably would have gotten eaten, probably. Or the well, would I would have, have eaten been eaten by the monkey. <laughs> yes, that's more. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me. <laughs> So, we got captured together. <laughs> it's just like a little, like, knowing tear comes out. <laughs> she tried to... protect me. Definitely not to keep me safe so I'd be fattened up for the meal. You're not gonna mention this to my dad, are- Kid, I don't even know who your dad is. I don't even know who the fuck you are. He's always telling me to never, ever go into the forest. Never because he says it's dangerous. Yeah, well, fucking, there yeah. you go. He says I could get caged up with a monkey, but I think <laughs> I think he's an idiot. You really can't tell him. Really, you have to promise. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I need to spread my wings and fly. Spads. New plot coming in from the left. <laughs> my son told me to tell him disappeared into the woods and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. Did my son run away from you? But it looks like you have brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. You just hear scream. This whole game is tasks that shouldn't <laughs> fall to you, frankly. Tell me, have you noticed how strange this wood seems lately? I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Perhaps you could check this wood to see if it's strange. What do you think about this wood, Link? Tomorrow is finally the day. You will be departing for Hyrule. I like their outfits. I think it is a good- yeah. I look pretty good. <laughs> pretty good for this wood. I think it's a good thing I've given this task to you. You know, the one that wasn't supposed to fall to a person like you. <laughs> good luck and return safely. <laughs> if you're lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> like that would ever happen 20 times over the course of every game for the last 35 years. <laughs> What a joke! Uh. Stupid. Anyway, I've got to get back to Metal Slug. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I am balls deep in Mario Galaxy. Did you know it says you are Mr. Gay at the beginning? <laughs> it's like this is where it finally comes out. <laughs> like Nintendo knew all along. Yeah. Whoa. That is the strangest. Like, it just kind of looks like his legs are coming out of his torso. I sat there for hours, not doing what that man asked me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Spence! So I got a call from that guy. Yeah, he's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real dick move of you. Anyway, can you move my goats? 
<laughs> you do that whooping thing that you like doing? Mm -hmm. Alright, next time I Gabe grabs. Mm. Uh... I'll see you later. Yes, goodbye then, we love you. How much pussy are you gonna get with those geraniums? Don't even get me started.